Okay, um, so this is the follow-up video to the last one um, in which I put it, well I put it, <laughs> I put the low loft quilt backing uh, down, uh, glued it with Mod Podge, and then went over top of it with latex paint, uh, the same color that I painted the surface here. Um, and then you, after you do that, you let the Mod Podge dry for a little bit. I probably didn't wait long enough, but I'm impatient and just got weekends to work on this. Then you come back with latex paint and then you paint it. Um, you got to dab it to make sure you get all the white out of it so you're not seeing that coming through. I'm not worried about the river's edge. That'll get taken care of later. Uh, but then you use, you use whatever ground coverings you guys want. I mean, I bought these Woodland Scenics, but they recommend, I guess, the more colors, the more blends you can put in, the more realistic it looks. So hopefully I'm accomplishing my goal of a nice farm field. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. Put a little bit more of the rough around the edges. These are again where the nails are where my trees are going to go. But um, again, not, not dissatisfied with this. After I put all the uh, cover down, um, I spray it with the scenic cement spray. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just letting it dry. So um, hopefully uh, this will work okay and we'll move on to an another um, phase. Later on when I get the farm on here, um, there will be places where crops are being grown, etc. I believe it's not going to be a big issue to cut out a section and redo it or I could just lay dirt over top of it. E either way, I don't think I've painted myself into a corner here. So um, cool. Hopefully this helps others who are looking to do something like this. Um, I don't think I screwed it up too bad. We'll see. Later.